Dota 2, just me and you. Welcome to Good Morning Purge. When you want to know all about the game, tournaments and MPLB, how heroes can protect or destroy, the ancients come toppling down. So grab yourself a bite to eat, sit down, enjoy the show. Join us on Good Morning Purge. We're talking Dota 2, just me and you. Welcome to Good Morning Purge. We're watching Dota 2, just me and you. Welcome to Good Morning Purge. We're watching Dota 2, just me and you. Welcome to Good Morning Purge. Good morning and welcome to the last day of MDL. There's some really good Dota to come later on tonight that is going to mean a lot for the meta for approximately three days afterwards. Uh, we have a really good show for you guys today. We've got Fogged on. I'm excited to have him here with us. Uh, maybe the most high MMR guest we've had so far? I think so. That's probably Except for maybe Grand Grand. Uh, we got some community questions to answer, of course. Thank you guys for submitting those. Don't ever hashtag good, good, good morning purge ever again because we're not going to fucking read it. Uh, so you can just give up on that. Uh, we're also going to decorate some gingerbread houses. That'll be really exciting. Get you in the Christmas theme. Uh, if you guys are Americans, you're probably going to be mad about that because we still got Thanksgiving next week. But that's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll just overlook that. And then, of course, a, a beautiful story to close things out. So a really good day of Dota, a good day of uh, good morning purge. But before that, let's take a look at what happened yesterday with the highlights. Let's get into our first match of the day with LD and Gods. Seems like everybody's all aboard the J Storm train, but IG, they defied the odds yesterday to get here. There's smoke up, moonlight shadow up. It's go time. Knight's coming in from behind. It's got that heart of trash. Here come the bots. Oh, oh, no. Oh, the prized Venomancer just gets caught out in the wrong neighborhood, but Alk's coming in. They want to try to take this fight. He got off his ultimate. BKB is coming through. They get the grip on Nine, locking Nine? him down. Instantly bursting him. There's no backup. The boat's way late. And now it's a headlong retreat. Arrows plunging into the heart of Moose. They'll chop him up, too. Yes. I don't know what it is now. 150, they, they have a yeah. decent shot at just getting a two for nil. No. I'll kill the Alk and this should prompt the GG. They'll look to slay the beast. Will they kill him? Maybe not. Hey. He's yeah. tanky with the boat. Yeah. Sleep. Arrow. Arrow. There's the Yules. Try to keep him alive a bit longer. Brax can't stand against the damage though, even if they manage to keep the Alk alive until JT comes in with the call. And the GGs are called indeed. J Storm. Getting Emo. smashed here. Rampage in two, Venom's coming back. No, not the throne. Oh. Well, gods, they didn't even like the IG draft that much in game one, and they crushed. So now they have a draft that the panel likes. Could like, go one of two ways. Yeah, you could say it's, it's totally <laughs> over, <laughs> yeah. or they don't know what they're talking about, so maybe it's actually good for j -Star. Oh, here's the eggs, though. <laughs> this is scary. Dyer have vision around this cliff here. They've got to deward this, and they want there these four stats to do with the clockwork as Nine comes in with the avalanche toss, blasting down so many heroes low. And now on the run, the Laguna Blade, though, look for the turnaround, perhaps. They Turn do have a Chrono Spear, but where's the easy kills? He doesn't have any yet. Now he drops it. They're going to buy back on the gyro. Do they have the damage to dump in? It's Kaka with the stun, Kaka with the nukes, oh, JT. JT with the epi. He came in, and he just might get out. He does escape. What a huge turnaround. Oh. Do they move in? Kind They're hunting with thing. nine, but he's walking right into trouble. A burrow strike, a Laguna, a slave comes in and the hook's too late. Another death, Tiny's out for 70. Their big damage dealer is gone. Can Moo pick up where Tiny left off? He will get Kaka, who's got the buyback, pops it instantly. All the while, Flyfly, he's just waiting with the Chrono Spear. He will commit it, finds Moo, just starts smacking it, but Fear's caught outside the Chrono, gets off the ice path. Black it doesn't hole. matter, the black hole, it's too late. No damage. Where's the damage? Where's the damage? They just don't have it. GG is called IG from the minor qualifier to top four at MPL Chengdu. Yes, TNC versus Vici Gaming. I'm Pixel here with Fogged. And uh, yeah, it's, it's the Earthshaker Morph. It and is. And it's Vici Gaming saying, well, we're going to try and end the game before this Earthshaker Morph comes online. Because there's no doubt about it, right? Well, Vici does set up to go for some dive plays. They will see that, but okay, now they 
Now gonna get a chain frost out from March. Yang falling pretty low here. Chrono's gonna go down. Yang does fall. See VG Game with the setup looks to try and find the kills in return. TNC and Arm uh, have Armel and Tims turning up though to take down a second kill in response. To by VG as the morphling. This is he's got the you know he's got the item, he's got the level 18. Oh. The echo in the back. Tim's is trying, he's trying for something here. There's the follow up here. If they got the damage to kill anyone, no, they have a VG gaming. Everybody's alive. They'll turn, rip apart Tim's, go towards Armel as the TA will also fall. There's no buyback available on Armel. KP this time looks like he's going to be pressured inside and his own base. Chrono. The chrono's down, catching Tim's who brought back for this. Another Fisher used here from Gabby as he'll try and go forward to help out his team. The cat there's Bounce. four dead. Gabby jumping back towards the base. Che, such a big kill here for VG Gaming as he's the one where the money's at. Good. Oh, Gale, off the mark there. I'll be able to catch him out so still with a fish here, but there is help coming in. In fact, jump four echo. gets cancelled. Tim dropped the echo. The ult's down on the two of them. PYW are four. Gabby's also here from the sidelines trying to poke in, but the GA's out for Yang. And now Gabby drive back by Ori into the boat combo. They'll lose this dead. now as well. Tim's and KP have got to just try and run themselves out of it, but they cannot do so. Eurus is able to close the gap with the time warp, pick up the double kill. Drins. Let's jump. jump forward. Ah, uh, Eurus. He's gonna come here. Fisher does hit on from the put the GA. He's gonna try and look towards Armel, but again, the E blade keeps Armel safe from the right clicks of Eurus. Eurus now ready to jump back in though. Force out the side. March able to keep Armel safe. The turn, the Will of Wisp trapping up Eurus. Eurus has got to get out. Time walks up to the high. Another one. The second Will of Wisp. March continue with the control. Eurus is trying to kill it off with the Fisher into the side. And Eurus pops the man to jumps to the side. KP. Now the new focus from the boy. Now Eurus though, step back into the Will of Wisp. Will be able to step in. Looks to kill it off. But the blinding light is there. Finally takes it out. First PYW, double lagoon. He got it. PYW though with a fresh and sharp play takes Gabby out of the fight. They now turn towards Tim's as Tim's is maledicted, surrounded by five. Tim's will fall, and Please. they're gonna go right down mid. They want to force these buybacks out. Tim's and Armel down for 30 seconds. They've got to seriously consider using the buybacks so if they need to. Eurus is gonna jump in. Tim's buys back straight away. Glimmer cave trying Turn to save it, but the Chrono got Eurus. Tim's. It's gonna get Tim's as well. This will be a dieback on the shake, and the torrent follow-ups there. KP has a buyback. 20 seconds till the Armel wants to hold on to his. He wants to try and make sure that it's not necessary. He needs both lives in They're killing it too fast. Trying to hold this, but the tier fours are falling. BG Gaming, they're on to the ancient. The ancient is mounting. TNC, can they stop this? It doesn't look like they can. The ancient falls. BG Gaming take game two. And with that, the series two to zero. As BG Gaming will be moving on to grand finals. TNC, they'll get another chance, but they're going to be knocked down. Game number one. It's going to be EG. It's going to be IG. Let's get some hype and let's take it over to Lyrical and Trent. Big matches. It was pretty absurd. Where they just picked Doom every game and just ran around. That's right. Uh oh. That was great stuff. The big punches coming from Emo. This guy's got some pretty high base damage on the Zeus and just kills him off first blood. Emo. My God. They're scouting him out. Oh, that's they the hero. That's it. the hero. Emo, they find Kill him right him. at the start. Everybody jumps on top of him. Abed as well the Stampede. Yule Scepter combination together. They can't cast anything right now. Artizi silent, but Save still more Emo. than enough. The chase forward, looking for this finish. EG show up and win it big. All right, see, what did I Three tower and IG looking to continue the stomp series that we've been seeing today. Ramsey's behind enemy lines. Maybe going to try and find a pickoff here. He runs in, finds immediately Emo at the start. Can they blow him up, though? This guy is super tanky. They're going to destroy him. He wins the duel instead. Zeus has got right click damage now. Come at me, he says. The PKB finally is out there from the Night Stalker, but it's not going to do anything. Everybody else is falling apart. Just zapped to death. JT says, let's go to the next game, hitting tier four towers with his body. And uh -huh. Ramsey's. Oh, sheep. Okay, out. Static Storm. And no, the glimpse away. They pull him out of the Static Storm. That's not how that's supposed to go. And now they're all going to go down as the chase comes out. Ramsey's PKB has popped. They're trying to song to get away. JTTP. Is it going to be enough? Looks like it will. But Emo, the one left behind. They lose three. Not feeling fully ready to run in there.
is Aegis. It never feels good when you look something up, and the first thing you see is the Urban Dictionary, where it's like, how idiots spell rip tide. It's like, ah, uh -oh. damn it. Uh-oh. Two of them. Where's Disruptor? Gotta be careful, though. Ramsey's coming in to try and save the day. He's getting the silence off. They can't get it off in time. Oh, they found and killed Kaka. The beautiful play from Ramsey saves the day. Chain Frost, it don't matter. They're gonna chase down this Naga Siren, trying to get the punches, so there isn't a blink away as the blink forward comes from the Night Stalker. One after the other. This BKB only lasts a couple more seconds as GG is called. We're going to a game three. Excellent. This series deserved it. Uh, unfortunately, two very one-sided games. A terrible feeling. And even when you do get into that BKB on him, oh my god, IG just run uphill. Uh, Bristol's hey, right there. Tava. He's just scouting. They've got the impale. Arrow, though, connects now onto the Kunkka. This could be kind of okay. The OD going to save him for a moment. Pop and Stampede not really going in at the moment with the big balance strike. Comes through onto two. The crit is out as well from the Kunkka. The big old hit from the Tide Ringer, but Emo low on mana. There's a huge ulti, but it's not quite enough. They're all so low. Ramses, he just wants to get in for a little bit more damage. Oh, they're oh, almost the dead. Possibly a chance for a turnaround here as JT actually X's himself. Did the double tap. Not what you usually see there as the chase is coming, Torrent goes out, not going to connect, still crit, playing around with them here. I guess that they thought there was a little bit of miscommunication there between EG, but now they know they're up here on the high ground, and they're just going to jump immediately, trying to save, but the Impale comes out and connects. They're going to burst him down to nothing. Abed buys back, needs to get into this fight. Chain Frost going to bounce not all that many times, and Fly pulling him back up on the high ground, burning through the mana of Emo. He's low HP, but guess what? This guy's going to be coming back in a second. If they're not careful, the Monkey King ultimate is out as well, Abed just tearing through Abed. They do have the Stampede, need to save. That bristle back for the moment. The oh. disarm comes out. The balance strike going to connect ending. yet again. They need to be careful. The chase forward looking for the follow-up. They drop down the stage eclipse, but it's an ultra kill for Fly Fly. A rampage oh. for this big bad monkey king. And maybe going to be able to give him another one. No, it is stolen away. But nonetheless, IG dominant. We it only have one day left. Three teams remain. And guess what? They're all from the east. Who will be able to take tomorrow? Is it IG? Is it Beachy Gaming or is it TNC? Big shout out to everyone, especially you, the fans at home, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And welcome back to tomorrow. Uh, we have a great guest coming out of the show today for a Good Morning Purge. It's Fogged. Welcome to the show, Fogged. Hello, hello. Good to see everybody. Welcome. I, I'm surprised you were able to pull yourself away from playing World of Warcraft in the, in the green room. Every yep. day I walk in, you're just there playing. And this today was the first day I walked in the room you weren't on the computer, and that's because you were supposed to be the guest, I'm pretty sure, is that correct? Yeah, I'd already finished up. I got my honor for the day. I think I'm good to go. I don't know what that means, but I'm happy you enjoy the game. That's okay. great. Um, so I, I, in anticipation, I thought we weren't going to be making gingerbread houses today. I was actually planning to do a, a segment about like how to how to talk to your teammates in pubs. And, and while doing research, I stalked your Dota buff profile, and I couldn't find any recent games. Do you play on a Smurf instead to hide your bad behavior? Uh, no, I, well, I was playing on a Smurf, but I also hid all my games Oh, okay. a while back. So, what, yeah. what, What's up with that? I just didn't want people to know what I was picking because everybody was banning the heroes I was playing. I was pretty much oh, okay. only playing like two or three heroes. I was playing mm -hmm. like Elder Titan. Uh, I'm not going to say the other one so people don't ban them all the time. But I only play like three heroes usually in pubs. So Damn, you're so paranoid that you literally don't want to <laughs> say it verbally on a show. No, it's like, I don't know. I was just playing like Undying, Rubik, and Elder Titan. And then like four position Invoker. And it was getting banned most of my pub games. So really? I was getting salty. Oh. Mm, people probably just recognize you, right? Uh, once, once you, like, I feel like a lot of high level players, they'll like know which profiles are which people how do you keep track of all that stuff for me personally at least it seems like overwhelming i have no idea i don't know how they do it i don't really keep track of any of that stuff but i guess they just look and they're like fog only plays elder titan and like one other hero well you have been screaming about elder titan for literally months so i'm not too surprised um Good hero. I, you're one of the casters that has uh, re relatively high mmr you're pretty close to pro level in terms of uh skill level um obviously you have a good history well maybe not not to rub it in uh, you have a history of playing pro. Um, Thank you. Is it? Do you ever do you ever sit there and like uh, long for for being on the stage or being in a competitive environment again? Obviously, you like competitive games, but do you ever miss like trying to be a pro? Um, yeah, I mean, of course, it's always been. I mean, I've always been a super competitive person, so it's always been one of the f my favorite things to do. At least, just competing and playing versus people mm -hmm. and outskilling and shitting on people is probably one of the best things you can do. However, that wasn't happening. It was the opposite. So yeah, uh, over the time, I kind of just. I don't know, playing in NA, trying to find teams was really tough and playing together. And I don't know, casting just casting also had its like it has its type of competition like versus each mm -hmm. other as well. So there's there's a little bit of that, but going back to competing is like I don't know, not really on the not really on the docket at all. I mm -hmm. don't know. Maybe like twenty percent of myself wants to actually try it because I know that the work is 
the workload is really tough. So uh, how, how would you explain the workload? I've I've had a taste of it for a couple months. Um, how would you compare the workload compared to casting, being a pro player? <laughs> <laughs> Should I pick something more difficult first? Uh, uh, well, I mean, casting. We just watch. You know, we're watching the games all the time because yeah. we love the game. Mm -hmm. As a player, you have to watch the games, but you're also just you're constantly just you're spamming pubs and it's exhausting. It's mm -hmm. absolutely exhausting to be a pro player because it's not just about scrims. You finish your scrims, you're like, all right, guys, I don't really want to play three best of threes today. I only want to do two best of threes. And then you finish and you go play Dota for 12 hours. So it's yeah. just, it's ex it really is just super exhausting. What about the emotional side of it? Because it's not just playing the games. It's also the replay reviewing, yep. criticizing your teammates in a constructive way, receiving criticism in a constructive way, trying to make sure you don't make those mistakes, getting torn down a little bit emotionally when you do make mistakes or when things don't go well. Doesn't that all make it a lot harder too? Yeah, it's, I mean, everything is taxing. I wasn't, for like a while, I was like super stressed out because eating, finding time to do any of those type of things mm -hmm. when you're playing and you're super focused is hard. You want to play as much Dota as possible, so it, like mm -hmm. it does take a physical and any type of like mental, you know, mental toll on yourself because you know you want to play all night. I would scrim all day. I'd play Dota all night. I'd wake up. I'd be like, oh, I don't have time for breakfast. My scrims are starting again. Mm -hmm. And then I'd finish scrimming and I'd be like, oh, I want to play Dota. I don't want to go eat. And you're in a so. relationship for the majority of that time as well, right? So the entire how, time. How was uh? How would you uh relate? Did you did you learn things about um emotional? I don't know. Just like because uh, I always felt like being on a team felt like you were in a relationship with five people. Did being in a long-term relationship before that help with working out problems with your team or did you learn things back and forth like or did you uh, uh was, it, was it easier to work out problems between your teams it's push and pull right i think uh, we had s me and daniela you know we've been together for now 10 years so in the beginning at ti3 we had our biggest problems we actually probably almost broke up during that time because i was playing a shitload of dota and we were going to boot camps and we were getting ready for ti and all that so mm -hmm. we definitely had our downs but i think finding a balance I don't know. It was kind of easy. She was really understanding, which made it really helpful for me. And then my teammates also at the time, I had like AUI, Universe, mm -hmm. uh, Snaking, and Way2 and stuff like that. We were all friends for a long time. So I feel like, for me at least, we I got blessed a little because I knew the guys so well. Yeah. So I didn't really have to deal with too much of like drama stuff until TI came around, then massive drama, of course. Because then uh, everyone's stress levels kicks up into overdrive, so yeah. then it just makes everything that happens worse. And, d you know, if you're if you're not the best team at the tournament, you're going to be losing, and losing feels bad. So yeah. you know, the, the negative emotions come with, uh, more so than a typical relationship. So Yeah, everything just got, like, exacerbated super hard. It's like, oh, this was a problem, but it's no longer a problem. It's like the end of the earth, you know? It's like this guy, you know, snaking's just diving and throwing all their games. Which, so which it could be, because then you lose your game, or a best of three, or a crucial match, and you don't make up a bracket, and yep. then you take a best of one, and... Loose. That's what happened to us. We have one of those. So Snaking's fault, basically. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I'll, right, I'll cool. take some blame, too. I well, played pretty shit at TI3. That's okay. Uh, community questions. Here we go. Uh, how can I be as cool as Fogged when I grow up? Oh, well, I don't have an answer to that, because I'm not very cool, man. I don't really have... Uh, my personality's a little bit lacking. I, I don't know. I have some... I'm a little bit charismatic at times, but I'm, I'm kind of just a nerd. I just play Dota and WoW now, and... <laughs> I I, th I would describe it as like you're 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 very talented. Uh, it feels like you don't try very hard in Dota. Like it's just like oh he's just naturally super good, and it's frustrating because other people are not like that or myself, you know. So I I would that's I would say how can I be as good at Dota as fucked? Got an answer for that one? Play since it started, you know. Start uh -huh. it came out what Is that sixteen it? years ago, and I've been yeah. playing since then. Okay. I played Anna Strife played. Warcraft 3, afterwards Anna Strife, and then Dota came out. Okay, well, yeah, that would definitely help. All right, a uh, new question. Uh, should I be running the MP and or the MP percentage on Piccadilly Search and Destroy? I have no idea what that means. I have no idea what that means. Okay, MP3 and MP or the MP4. Does that make any I more sense? I have no idea what the hell that means. That's not World of Warcraft, and that's not Dota, so don't know is what this, the hell is it is. This <laughs> is this about World of Warcraft? <laughs> the Twitter guy's name is Paprika Dotes. That that was oh, okay. it's about Call of Duty. I've not okay. That makes more sense now. I, I understand these. MP3 is a gun. MP4 is probably a gun. Search and destroy is a game mode in Call of Duty. Piccadilly is probably a map. Never ask us another question again. That was terrible. Terrible. Yikes. Do some research. See if we play Call of Duty first. My God. All right. How do you politely end a conversation with someone who will not stop talking? Oh, I'm really bad at that. I'm really bad at that. I just keep going. The, the conversation polite? just keeps going. So you, you're the problem person in this example. Is that what you're trying to say? You're the guy that won't stop talking? Uh, actually, I might be. Yeah. That, is def that definitely sounds like me. Yeah, I, I'm probably the person who just keeps talking and usually people don't know how to end the combo. Yeah, I, I don't really have this issue either. I'm, I'm again, like you, I'm the same. I, I generally just, like, continue my conversation by talking about something that I want to talk about. And then eventually, I don't know. 
That sounds about right. They just stop talking to me, and then I never think about it. Never. It would definitely help for some of us more awkward people to just have have feedback in that way and be like, "Hey, by the way, you've been talking way too much." And I can be like, "Oh shit!" People would never I say really that. I really wish though. somebody told me that 15 years ago. <laughs> when it would have been more relevant, when I had more time to practice, you know, like getting good at Dota. Have you of. ever had anybody actually say that to you before? I have not. Um, no. I mean, once in a while I'll have worries like, oh man, what if somebody says this thing? And then I'm like, I'm 32 years old. Nobody's ever said anything rude like that, you know? So it's it's not it's not that big of a worry, but it would be helpful. And some people don't like criticism, though. Um, I, I don't like receive cr receiving criticism, but it would definitely help at times to get better. Um, so I don't know. It, it, I I wish there was a little bit more in the world of that, but it has to be in a polite way. I, I guess. feel like we're pretty similar in that in that sense. Perhaps, perhaps. Yeah. All right. Uh, new question. You have to fight an exact copy of yourself to the death. How do you outsmart yourself? It's an exact copy. You can't. What? Any answer you give right now is unlikely to work because your self will also likely think exactly. about that. So I'd have to ask somebody else. What if you trained with your glasses off for months prior to the moment that you fight yourself? That way you can see and fight better than your clone could. I can't see shit without my glasses, so, so I don't think that would work. You just got to do some... I, I'm sorry, I'm going to make a Game of Thrones reference. I know that's canceled, but uh, do some Arya Stark shit. You know, practice in the dark, that kind of a thing. And then hopefully the clone of you is also not... Or at least it looked really cool if we had like a see in the dark camera, you know. That I don't I don't have a good answer. Yeah, I'm Just not sure. Wrestle until I until somebody wins. Like, lucky. I would probably always block because you know I'm expecting something like to get kicked in the nuts or something for myself or I don't know, like I I don't know. Right, How is that, you is that one yourself? of your moves? You I mean I don't know what else you could do. I, I don't know. Is that your offensive move that you like need to poke in the eye while kicking in the nuts, but I would think of that, so it's like, you know, like I, I really thought you were gonna have cooler moves than this. Uh Based on know. that earlier question, but trying to outsmart myself. The nut kick. All right, let's uh, let's let's move on to uh, our beautiful activity. We got okay. some we got some gingerbread houses. I'm I'm really excited about this. Uh, how do you feel about uh, how early is too early for Christmas? Bring them on now is too early. You know, I was I felt like that until until Dakota was like, how about we do some gingerbread houses? And I was like, you know what? That actually sounds kind of fun. It's actually nice because I did I did come a little bit prepared too. I am wearing uh, I don't know if I can lift my leg this high, but I'll try. Give it a shot, dude. Oh, I am wearing some Christmas socks today. Wow. I was a little bit prepared. It's beautiful. I only brought one pair. So but it's too early to make gingerbread houses, but it's not too early to pack Christmas socks a week before you left the house for an event that didn't even that ends before Thanksgiving. That's kind of contradictory, don't you think? Uh, I don't pack my bag every single time before an event. This was still packed since maybe last, last year or something like that. No way. Like that. Uh, this Are luggage you? that I actually brought, I think I hadn't taken a lot of those st those socks out. What? Some of my dress socks. I didn't bring like my whole big luggage. I brought a smaller luggage. Tell me you have Christmas socks in your suitcase for a whole fucking year? I actually might have. I don't unpack my luggage very often. Do you wash your luggage? It wasn't dirty. They were just folded in there like put away. Just folded clean in with yeah. the other dirty clothes that no, you had from luggage. an event? Different luggage. How many how many suitcases do you have? I have three or four, because Daniela has two and I have Jesus two. Jesus Christ. All right, let's... What the hell? How's that weird? Let's talk about sugar. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, we need to see this. Are you going to do my... These are not hats. Uh, no, we're going to... I don't know. I, I want to watch you fail or me fail. I don't know. Don't right. put your hand in there. Oh, you're This right. is food safe. So what we're going to do is uh, we have to cut a little hole in the bottom. I think the instructions said like, I don't know, three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna do there. Are you supposed to load up first? That's not how we do stuff here. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to load it up as well. That actually makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna wait. Fine. Load your, this is this is basically sugar. This is gonna be our frosting, okay? Frosting is necessary because it helps us stick the sugar to the sugar. How did you rip that so well? Strong hands or something? I don't kick in the nuts, dude. I scratch skin off. That's my <laughs> offense. <laughs> I'm ready to fight myself, unlike you. That's true. I think what, uh, I think I'm just gonna scissor this yeah, one. That out. would that would be smart. That's definitely smart. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just like opening the damn thing. Like I'm gonna eat it. Uh, I don't know how to get myself out of this problem anymore. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing something right. You're not doing something so right. Yeah, well, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see when the house is finished and how abysmal I am. Are you I good at art? Uh. Slightly, I'm pretty awful. I was like, when I was in middle school, I, I took a full week art class out of out of I, like I chose to take that, and then uh, every year after that, they were like, 
you want to do band? I was like, yes. And they're like, well, you're fucking done with art then. So I never did art again. Yep, that was, so I, I didn't, I did chorus. I didn't that wasn't funny. That was a sad story. Thank you. God. Sorry, what'd you say? I did chorus. I didn't even do an instrument. That's I actually wish I'd done an instrument. I mean, at least you can sing without an instrument. I can't Oh sing. shit, you are crushing me right now, dude. I'm just gonna put the whole thing in here. Squeeze. If only I had thought more before I had... I think this is supposed to be one of the faster parts of the video. Decorating might be the hard part. I'm gonna get a little dirty here, but... Oh yeah, are you allergic to any of this stuff? Not the sugar, I, I hope. I'm just allergic to maybe... I think this was maybe processed in a factory that mm -hmm. might kill me, but that's okay. How... how how, how often are you worried about that? Because I, whenever I read those Always. sentences, like, oh, process in a factory that uh, does nuts and other things, I always just think, like, oh, it's just some lawyer statement, right? I, it depends how much I really want to eat the thing. Like, if oh. I really want it, and I'm like, you know what, it probably won't So it's me. not about logic. It's just, like, safety first for your life yep. so that you don't die. I think that makes some sense. Oh, my God. You're doing so much better than me. I think I'm good to go. Uh, well, before you start... No, I'm just kidding. You can start. I think What's I cut my hole a little bit too big, but... Well, we'll find out if I did. Okay. Uh, oh my god, I'm gonna be messy. It's not as messy as me. Holy can shit, I, dude. Can I start, or you wanna, yeah, go ahead. wanna wait? Go ahead. Alright. What? Do you have any experience making Jinder Bread Houses before? No, I've, I've... When I was, like, five. Yeah, I think... In kindergarten. I'm, I'm kind of glad that these already have... Um... That they're, that they're already, like, partially <laughs> assembled, because... When I when I did it in the past, I seem to remember what happened was like we would spend a lot of time trying to make a rectangle or a, a cube and it just utterly failing at it and then just kind of giving up. We didn't get to the fun part, so we kind of get to jump straight and do it. That is actually really true. I feel like I have similar memories of when I used to. Oh my god, this is gonna be harder. I'm gonna turn it in a moment. Or you could just what be a boss see? and decorate the. I'm just gonna decorate the one side facing me. I, I'm getting ready. I am so glad I cut the tip off first. That made this a lot more efficient. And now, you can't tell that that took me way too long to do. Wow, a single line of frosting. Don't look Ooh, at mine. really good. Jesus. Mine's a mess. Oh, God, it really <laughs> What are you doing? I'm making it a little bit different, you know? Oh, you're drawing a pattern? Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you. I'm going to put a piece of candy on every square inch of my fucking house. Is that what you're supposed to do? I mean, I can't eat it, so I don't know. Whatever. How do you know? It's made in a... Well, what I if it I don't really want it so much, so oh I'm not okay. going to eat it. There right, you go. That's what I thought. Uh, what's that like, uh, traveling to events and having food restrictions? It's actually really miserable, especially when there's catering, because I just always feel like a bother. I'm always just yeah, like, hey, by the way, uh, I'm allergic to nuts and all berries, so yeah. let me know what everything has. Yeah, it and, must be tough, yeah. especially because your, your allergy... It's not super rare, but... You know, it's 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 uncommon, so it feels like you're the only person there that has to be the bother, you know? Yeah, and the shitty thing is, too, it's it's an, it's like, I mean, not new, but it's pretty recent. It's when I was 23, I got this allergy. Oh, really? So I have eaten all berries and all nuts and everything. So and you I know what they taste like? Yeah, I love raspberries and I love pistachios and I can't touch them anymore. I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah, it's really pretty miserable. <sighs> this is not a solid... All right, I need a glove. I got to do some detail work. and I don't want to have to use my fingers. My God, you're really powering through here. I'm just gonna smear this shit around. A lot of experience. Smearing shit? Uh, yeah, something like that, you know. Making it more presentable with the smudge of my hand or something. I should have definitely made mine thinner because the, the yeah, window just became a disaster. Yours looks real thick. Oh, God. Well, that's supposed to be a window. <laughs> you should have just, like, let let their imagination run wild. Make the square and just you know leave what? it at that. The window is now going to be whatever. My hands you are clean. you want a glove? We have only three more. Yeah, sure. I'll take so a glove. You know what? There you go. Thank you. Even though I have icing all over my hands. This looks a little bit... Oh my god, I'm a mess. This Thank looks you. a little bit like a solid... It's like s snow hit this perfect side of the of the, of the the house. Yours looks... Does mine look good on camera at least? All right, mine looks all right no. on camera. I'll take it. I mean, it looks mostly done. I mean, I'm not going to turn mine. So we got some candies. I don't know what these are. But um, you can probably eat these, right? Are they chocolate or are they sugar? That looks like sugar to me. I That's thought it was sugar as well. These look like Smarties. Those these, smell like chocolate, I've though. been told these are candy corn-flavored M&Ms. And I ate about four of them before we started. They, they tasted good? pretty good. I don't really like candy corn much. You, you either love it or hate it. Is this uh, gloves new to you? I just wasted a glove. It's fine. We only have one glove left. This is my 
left hand glove. You can just take it. Just take it. No, that's okay. No, it's Go okay. On. I made a mess. You have I'm zero just take it. functional gloves right now? Yeah, I'm a mess. It's you messed okay. them both up? Take my third glove, dude. I'm a mess. I'll take care of this. I don't trust you. you I'm not going to get it on your suit. Don't worry. If that's I get it on anything, it's on about. me. I'm worried about you. I don't know. Not being able to put on a fucking glove. How old are you, dude? <laughs> Uh, I turned 30 in about two weeks. Congratulations. Thank you. You are one of the older Dota esports people. I'd like to frame, change up the colors, of course. One one corner near me. I'm, I'm just going to do like a single roof of my home, I think. Cause I'm, I'm basically out of icing. By the way, we have some fondant. Do you know what fondant is? Fondant? Yes. No. You've never heard that word before? I've heard it, but I don't know what it is. It's basically sugar, gelatin. It's it mostly mostly just sugar. It's a, it's a thicker surface. I didn't know what it was going to be like when I opened it, but yeah, here we go. This is literally just sugar, what but it's thicker. What the hell is that? Well, this is for decorations, basically. Okay. You can use this to, I don't know, uh, make... It, it's like better than frosting, basically. It's not going to melt as easily. It's like thicker, so it's... Like make cool designs, make Minecraft cakes, shit like that. It basically feels it's a little bit harder than Play-Doh, basically. Okay. But you can take it and I don't know, you can like roll it into little. D does it taste good? Uh, a little. It's probably I will eat fondant sometimes because I think it's kind of fun. But I mean, okay. but it's not exactly like amazing. Okay. There, look, see, I made a perfectly good snake. That's really well done. So what, how do we uh, separate these? Because these these look pretty like these separate look pretty what? good. There's only like four of these little stick ones, and these are like top tier for doors and stuff. Well, so. you need your your house needs a lot of work. So why don't you just take all those? And you need all the help you can get, dude. All right, a little well, snake that's, down. That's pretty true, actually. So can I uh, open this even? You know my gumdrops are already lately frosted. I'm just gonna leave those where they are. Uh, I don't I don't know what these. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do with these tools. Are. So a, a lot of uh, gingerbread housing is making interesting things that look like real stuff but it's made out of candy so what i'm gonna do is make some i was planning to make solar panels Shit. but i don't know if these are quite rectangular maybe the door was supposed to be on the other side this this, this is not i cannot wait to eat these twizzlers off of my gingerbread house in three weeks i i cannot tell you these are now be these are becoming doors now i guess damn we're, we're not even gonna be able to see we need like a 3d camera to appreciate your artwork these are doors now oh God, what is... I don't even know what that is, dude. I'm working on it. I mean, okay. it'll, it'll well, wait till the final product. I'm just gonna make mine simple yet effective. With this. Are they solar panels? I don't know, guys, maybe. All right, I'm gonna make one beautiful side. And then what did you do with this? You just rolled it, that worked? Yeah. I don't have gloves. Well, you did. <laughs> You ever use paper towel for gloves? Dude, whatever, man. I don't. I'm so confused how you got so messy, dude. Because <laughs> there's I sugar everywhere. I guess so. Come on, man. Don't bully me. If this, uh, maybe you need. So no like one's gonna be able to eat this afterwards. I'm gonna just touch it with my hands, but. Well, you could eat it. I can eat it, I guess. So. All right, I'll try putting the glove back on. Please don't zoom in on me trying to put a glove on right now. <laughs> How are you? Why you? Dude, what is wrong with me? I don't know. It's probably because I sweat a lot, so my oh hands are wet. Oh, yeah, that's 100% it. So this makes it really hard to put gloves on. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah. definitely not entirely on me. It's a fun genetics. fact about Fog. Very intelligent, very smart, good looking. Sweats too much. Sweat like an animal. Yeah. So now you guys can feel better about yourselves. Yeah. I have a girlfriend, by the way. I sweat a lot, so. <laughs> if you sweat a lot, you can get a girlfriend. Is that is that how you did it? Like, I don't hey know. Baby. I guess, something like that, right? I'm really correlation sweaty. equal causation. Something. Like that. Great at putting gloves on. I could I could barely even put this on. But by it's the only way. because I'm sweaty. And then you just gave up halfway through. Is that what happened? It's it's just a lot of effort to put this on. Dude, I'm still controlling. <laughs> well, you would never. Look, would it's just doesn't. You would never make it as a doctor. Clear. I wouldn't. My hands would be way too sweaty. I would probably drip sweat as well, like off my forehead into the patient and murder them or something like that. All right, let's continue this. Kevin, I don't need you. I don't need your sass over here. I haven't said anything. What are you talking? Do you think I'm conveying any information to this to the viewers? It's not happening. All right. What color doorknob would you have on a green door? Probably a red, right? Don't, don't look at my house and ask that question to yourself again. Oh shit! Needs to stick better.
No. Okay. All right, I these over here. This guy's so these. fucking good. Careful, guys. Sleep clean, Jenga. That ain't bad, but we need a little bit more action. Heaven owning me? Yes. I mean, I put two gloves on. You only got one. Among other reasons. Shit. Okay. We're gonna use a little bit of... You know, I looked at the box with the designs on it. Ours looks... I mean, mine looks fucking awful. I was gonna say, you better not talk shit about my Probably yours looks pretty good. Fondant door. I will be eating that later. All right, what else does this need? Uh, I need an excuse to put a lot of these M&Ms on mine so that I can eat them. Um, how about a nice little walkway? How's that sound? A walkway? What Never made a walkway? Everybody makes a walkway, dude. Oh my god. Where, where else are you supposed to put gumdrops? I mean, I think I put the door in the wrong place. Oh no, wait, I adjusted my doors, that's right. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? That's, that's perfect. Remember guys, blend the mistakes in. Usually helps use a toothpick to do this, but we don't have that on hand, so. This nice and I don't know what this is supposed to be over here anymore. I think I could say that about every square inch of your damn house right now. Mm, thank you. Just line I told you I wasn't very good at art. Did you? I Except for in game. In your Picasso or something. No. I don't really. I'm, I'm ruining my design, but frankly, I, I'm just really excited to claim these in my own. Should I leave the M's up? If I was really careful, I would have maybe had the alternator or something. It doesn't look that bad, right? This one's really fucked up. I need to eat it. Mine looks funny. Well, you're trying. Thank you. Your door is... My door's not bad. I don't know why it's so, like... It looks like it has spines on it or something. I'll make it look better. Two minutes? Okay. Two minutes? And then we get to see who wins. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty good. I like these better than candy corn. Sorry, portion sure. over. If you messed up my house in that movie, I won't. I would have <coughs> kicked you off the show. <laughs> right away. This is nice. I have no idea what I'm doing over here anymore. Wait, my snake. This will be another door, I guess. Uh, a little ice for my s No, that's not going to work. Um, Crumbling right now. What about a mailbox? Um, I got it. Use your glue. AK sugar. Stick stuff to walls if needed. Okay. Can I have somebody play Iron Chef music really quick? Is that possible? Oh shit. Or is that copyrighted? I'm not gonna make it. Or somebody just like count down really dramatically. Okay. Isn't that the Sonic thing? I don't know. Wait, red, Christmas. Oh my god. I'm just putting random colors. Are you doing coordinated colors? Oh well, you know. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I definitely think this is way better than I. I. I never expected it to be this good for myself. I, um, can't get the right colors. I just don't know. I can't fathom any other way to make this more beautiful, you know? It's just difficult. I'm just gonna. Let's add a couple more. A couple more. Have you not used any of these colors? Purple, red. Slap a red one here. You know, make it easier for Santa to find us. Wait, so we didn't put a chimney. I I don't know if you're gonna make it if you had a chimney. All right, I gotta scope that. I'm pretty happy with my one side. My house is beautiful from one angle. You're All not right. allowed to walk around the other side of it. Mine's mine's kind of disastrous, but whatever. Nope. You know what? Present. Oh, yours looks dope. Mine looks terrible. Oh, that's a great, great, great idea. I'll just uh, show mine this one's way. in chat for uh, for Burge's house, and uh, two in chat for Fog. Fog, do you want to give it a spin so we can? I mean, <laughs> give sure, it. Yeah. Dude, mine looks so bad. Oh well. well. This was supposed what to be the those? door. I don't oh. know. It just ended up that being nothing. Good. This was another door in the back. I that, that looks better. You smoothed it out a little bit. I like it. It's not yeah. Too bad. yeah. I don't know. I spent too much time. Well, you got those nice top. candy canes on the back at least. So you thought it was going to be really important, but. Yeah. They didn't look great. I it's didn't do my best. It's not. It's not bad. It's pretty bad. I I like the fact that you decorated more than just like a quarter of your house. I should have done one side. That was actually really smart. Oh, well, I didn't really plan it. I was just I got like one one done because I was like, well, I gotta coat this thing, right? And now I'm like almost out of sugar, so I figured still got a decent amount. We only have so much time, right? I mean, I'm definitely gonna keep doing this when the cameras go away, obviously. 
I'm Are down you? to do it. I'm down to I gotta fix mine up. Mine's a disaster. Yeah. I'm pretty embarrassed. That's all right. Well, at least you're better at Dota than I will ever be. So you got that going for you. I'll take it, I guess. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, Fog, thanks for coming on and getting utterly smashed by me. I really well, appreciate it. Yeah, I thanks. Like good. You even got one glove on. Here you go. Everything I did pretty much get the glove on. Now. And lots of... And look at that. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what happens to it's me. It's glistening. That's what happens to me. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to my life. So many melodies. All right. And it's time for you to leave, and it's okay. time for me to close out the show. So thanks for coming on. God, no. Definitely not. <laughs> not, not you. Everyone else, sure. <laughs> bye bye. All right. All right, guys. Now, this is going to be a bit of a sad moment here, but I've got the last story for you. And it's a good one. Let me tell you. Oh, so many good memories. All right. Here we go. Ready? Stories, poem. I don't fucking know. Uh, it's called O oh Carry My Carry. The original is uh, by Walt Whitman. <laughs> o oh Carry My Carry. Our fearful lane is done. Our team has taken every racks. The prize we sought is won. The win is near. The bells I hear. The team is all exulting. While follow eyes the gold graph, our win was bold and daring. But O oh heart, heart, heart. Oh, the bleeding drops of red, where in their fountain my carry lies, fallen, cold, and dead. Oh, carry, my carry, buy back and farm their fountain. Buy back, for you the commands, the commands are given, for you we moved the mountains. For you we ward and stack the camps, for you we sneak that roche. For you we stand and tank their smokes, for you we tilt their coach. Here carry, dear carry, the farm we saved for you. It is some dream that in their base you've fallen cold and dead. My carry does not answer. His body is still and cold. My carry is dead for 90. He did not save any gold. The enemy team is now pushing mid and our ancient is exposed. From total win to our chagrin, we leave them unopposed. Exult my enemy and sound your taunts while I hang my head in shame. For I have typed into all chat, my carry through this game. And that is the last story that we're going to be telling on Good Morning Purge. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in dutifully every single day. We have some very good Dota coming up for you. But before we do, quick shout out to Matt Welchhaus, who wrote the song for Good Morning Purge. He's Australian. He makes songs for money. I have no idea where you can find him, but do your best. He's good. Also, thank you to Hopit and Dakota for making the show happen. Uh, lots of our ideas were theirs. It wouldn't have happened without them, so thanks to you guys and everybody else in production as well. With that said, let's get the day started for the last day of MDL. Delta 2, just me and you. Welcome to Good Morning Purge. When you want to know all about the game, tournaments and MDLB. Heroes can protect or destroy. The ancients come toppling down. So grab yourself a bite to eat, sit down, enjoy the show. Join us on Good Morning Purge. We're talking Dota 2, just me and you. Welcome to Good Morning Purge. We're watching Dota 2, just me and you. Welcome to Good Morning Purge. We're watching Dota 2, just me and you. Welcome.